Hey there. We're visiting Winterton on Sea, which is a village on the North Norfolk coast. And we're here on a quest to find a magic stone. It's a large black stone which has spiritual powers. It's meant to be blessed and allows the villagers to live long and to catch lots of fish. It's such an important object that when people moved it to do some road repairs, the, the village actually rioted. And uh, somewhere around here, it's placed on a street corner. So if I can keep Kitty focused, because uh, she seems to be more on a quest on to buy a, a nice thatched cottage, then hopefully we'll be able to find it. So can you sense the magic stone at all? Hmm. Can you can you feel? Now I haven't actually seen a picture of this stone, so I have no idea what we're looking for. It's a big black stone. <laughs> 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 But look at these cottages. Look, that one's nice. It is. I like the thatch. Hmm. I can see a black dog. Does that count? In Norfolk, it's not a good thing to see black dogs, you know? You know the myths. Yes. Black shuck. Let's have a quick look at the seaside. I know it's not over here, but let's just have a quick look at the Let's seaside. have a look. That's a nice That's nice. Church converted. I wonder if anyone here actually knows about the magic stone. I wonder if um, this has not been very popular since medieval times. Probably has completely different stories about it now. When you're when you're a child, you just make them up, don't you? People just make them up. So have a look at the dunes there. They're quite nice. See, this road would probably be enlarged if it wasn't for that stone. <laughs> ah, it looks cold and windy out there. <laughs> okay, and it's five pounds uh, the park. So there we are. It's a bit of a tall hill. Quite rough looking seas. Lighthouse over there. It is. Just poking out the top. Do you think parents make up stories about the stone to the children? Okay. Or if you don't do your you know, tidy your bedroom or something, or go to bed on time. How bad that's happened. It's interesting the things we put down to luck, isn't it? Stones are often sacred in many different countries. That's an interesting thing. It's a recurring thing. A large stone is some type of spirit or kami or. Or well, stones with holes, naturally occurring holes as well, are supposed to be very lucky, aren't they? Okay, I can sense the stone that's near. Okay. Can you sense the stone? Either that or hunger. <laughs> I can sense the Let's stone. See. Did you say it's on the corner? There's the stone. Where? There. Oh. That's the stone. <laughs> 
Are you going to get up and have a Do you twist? want to? I'll do it. It's too cold for you. Yeah. I'm going to stay wet so I some water. So here we are. This is the Leicester Stone of Winterton. Brings good luck to the villagers here. Allows a good catch of fish. It's very smooth on top, isn't it? Does it feel special to you? Right, if you could quickly load it into the car. <laughs> okay, come on, we're not going to leave a big magic stone here. It's obviously not being fully utilised. <laughs> 